Hey guys, today I want to show you the easiest way of replacing your add to cart button and your, your product price, your variance, your quantity and all of that. Uh, replacing that with a simple contact us button if you have a product that needs a custom quote such as wedding cakes. And this can be any link actually, but it's styled to look exactly as your add to cart button. So I'm going to show you how to use your themes existing styles and apply that to any custom button of your own, which is a very useful skill to have. And it only takes five minutes. All right, I've reset all my changes. So as you can see, I'm back to the normal add to cart buttons and everything. And the first thing I want to do is create a new wedding cake template so that I can actually just manually remove these blocks from here. So we're going to go to products, create template, and I'm just going to call mine wedding cake, create template. And whenever you create a new template, it just switches back to like one of your first products. So you just click here and click change so that you can switch back to the wedding cake product. Now, the first thing we're going to do is remove all of the stuff that we don't need. So that's going to be the buy buttons, the quantity selector, the, the variant picker, the price. Ignore all these, this is just from previous videos, I don't want to remove them, but they're all hidden as you can see. And here we're just going to add a new block. It's going to be a custom liquid block. And let's just write some text like contact us just so we can see that it's showing up. Yeah, that it's in the right spot. Now the first thing we want to do here is make this into a link. So a link in HTML is done with A, that stands for anchor. Right, so you surround the text with A and end A, like so. And the last part to make a link is href, and that's where you put the actual link. Right, um, in our case, it's going to be going to our contact page. So I'm just going to grab the contact page link, paste it here, and now we have a link going to our contact page. Now, here's really what I wanted to show you in this video is how to style it as a button using the classes available in your theme, right? We're not going to be rewriting CSS. We're not going to be saying, you know, this button should be 100% width and this should be the border and everything like that. That's the extremely slow way to do it. What we're going to do is on another page in your theme, just right click on any button and we're going to inspect. Open the inspector in Chrome. That should open up here or it might open up in the side wherever you find it more comfortable but here you're gonna see some classes on the button now if you're not familiar with html and css classes are added to the html here so here we got the class button you see button and then in the css in in base.css for example you will have css for the button class. The CSS actually defines, you know, the font, the size, the color, everything like that. But it gets applied to the button through the HTML by adding this button class. So what we can do is essentially use this button class in our link as well. So over here, making sure you're outside of the href quote quotes, yeah? So after that, you're gonna make another one called class like so, equals, and then quotation marks. And inside of here, you can use the classes from your theme. So if I type button here, it's going to apply all of those styles that your base.css, your base.css file in your theme applies these button classes. Now you can see that it's, it's the default button in Dawn. It's just, it's black and it's like not full width. So let's, let's take a look at what else we see here. So here we've got button dash dash full dash width. That obviously makes the button full width. So we can copy that. Paste that with a space into our, our classes. You can use multiple classes basically. This is a class button. This is also a class, right? And as you can see, that's made our button full width. And let's do a space. And let's say I want to make it also the same color as this. You can see that the white button on my theme, it's using button secondary. And if you're using Dawn or any Dawn based themes, your add to cart button will have all these exact same classes. So you can use button, button full width, 
bottom secondary if you're using one of those themes. And there we go. It's going to look exactly like our button, even if in future you make changes through the theme customizer to change, you know, all of your button styles, right? Our custom button is going to change along with that. You understand? Because we're not actually writing anything specific here. We're just using the existing classes. Uh, now, if you're using a different theme, then just inspect your add to cart button and you will see something similar. It will be something like button or button primary or button secondary. You'll see several classes here relating to the button and you can copy those. And if you don't see those on your add to cart button or you want to copy a style from a different button, you can, for example, go to your contact page. See, we've got this send button here. Let's inspect what classes are being used on this button. And you can see it's just the standard, the default button, just the one class button that creates that kind of button. And you can do this on any button in your theme, inspect what class it's using and do the same. So as you can see, you can make a button that goes anywhere using the classes in your theme. This is essential skill. This is how you use buttons inside of custom liquid fields when your theme doesn't have any button block available to you. Please like the video if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment. See you next time.